Hello everybody, this is Phil from iPodTouchBallet.com. Thank you guys for checking out this video. In today's video, I will be showing you guys how to get one of the coolest lock screens ever. And before I get started though, I want to give a shout out to the person who requested this tutorial, tutorial via Twitter. That person, MichaelDAC7, link in the video description to your right to his channel. He has some pretty great videos. He mostly does like review style videos and uh, unboxings and stuff. I've been knowing him for a while. We've been friends for a while on the internet. He's pretty cool. So definitely go ahead and check him out. He has more subscribers than me, of course. Who doesn't? I mean, I haven't been getting many subscribers lately. But that's beside the point. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the coolest lock screen ever. Now, this lock screen looks like this. It's called the Grumpled Lock Screen. And as you see here, we have a fully, like, touch interface. You can fully use everything. It's really nice. And uh, basically, it just... Everything flows really well. As you see, you have the calendar here. You can open and close. You have uh, the weather, which is pretty cool. And you have your email and stuff. It's also very cool. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and take this off my phone. And I will come back uh, when it's off and show you how to put it on. All right, everybody. So uh, as you see, I've uninstalled the... Um, lock screen and uh, today I'm gonna now I'm gonna show you uh, how to get it looking like this because you need it to look like this in order for uh, the lock screen to work so what you want to do is open up Cydia and you need to install two sources so go into manage sources edit and add and what the sources that you want to add are dot com slash apt david dot ashman dot com slash apt that's the first source will be in the in your video description to your right and the second one is kind of close to it it's david dot ashman dot com slash beta like that okay guys so you want to install those two sources onto your phone by just hitting add source after you type it in okay let it refresh and everything and then uh, yeah oops after you've gotten that uh, you're going to need to install three packages, so I'm going to show you those packages. The three packages you're going to need to install, and just search them, are um, Lock Screen Clock Hide. Uh, what that is, it's a little tweak that gets rid of that locks, the clock up there. Okay. Uh, lock Screen Dim Delay Control. What that does is it allows you to uh, keep your lock screen um, lit for a certain time before it... Uh, shuts the screen off and lock screen info which just allows you to put the uh, info on your lock screen so uh... yeah so lock screen clock hide lock screen dim delay and lock screen info those are the three things you need to install after you have those three packages installed go into settings and you'll see new sections in settings for all three of those mods one for clock hide dim delay and lock info so here's how you want your settings. For clock hide, you want it at enabled. Okay, you want it enabled, you want status bar time off. For dim delay control, you want it at whatever amount of time you want. I'm setting mine to 60 seconds. And lock info, just leave everything as it is, okay? So uh, that's basically all the settings you need to put on your phone right now. So now uh, we're gonna actually get the theme files, okay? so on your right in the video description you will have a link to a zip folder now this zip folder will contain everything you need it's right here called grumpled lock screen dot zip okay so uh, just go ahead and uh, extract that onto your desktop you'll have three folders inside grumpled art lock info and t lock background you want all three of those onto your desktop so just go ahead and drag and drop them over um, it really shouldn't take that long. It says like 20 seconds. It, it usually doesn't even take that long. So uh, just wait for them all to transfer and uh, yeah. Alright, so you can go ahead and uh, exit out. And you can go ahead and get rid of that um, zip folder. Okay? And these are the three files you are left with grumpled art.theme, grumpled lock info.theme, and t background.theme. So uh, now, we're actually going to be editing the settings, so you can input your zip code, input everything like that, basically customize it. You go into the grumpled lock info.theme folder, 
uh, go into bundles, com.ashman.lockinfo, and config.jscript script file. So this is a JavaScript file. You're going to need a, a good editor. The editor that I use is Notepad++. Uh, I recommend it. Please go ahead and get that right now. Um, you know, I'll have a link in the video description to it. So just right click on it um, and edit with Notepad++. And here it is. So this guy made it really, really easy to understand everything. Um, he put in all the notes with using the double slash technique. He put in all the notes. It really, really, really helps, you know. So it allows you to do everything. So let's, so first off, you'll see var sections on line 11 and 12, or I guess 11 and then 12 through 18 uh, show different settings. Now, if you don't want a setting enabled, then you would put uh, two slashes before it, like so. That way it would read it as a note and not a line of, of code. So, yeah, let's, if I didn't want SMS, I'd do it like that. But if I did, I'd do it like that and keep it on, all right? It's like that for everything, so if I want a clock, uh, if I didn't want the clock, I'd do it like that. But I do want it, so, uh, yeah. So, just keep, I just like keeping them all enabled. Then you can go ahead and just um, scroll down and look at all the stuff that you have here. Uh, for collapse, you can do which ones are uh, collapsed by default. What that means is, as you saw, I tapped on the um, the time and it brought up that little calendar. If I wanted to automatically show the calendar before I even do that, I'd just change the clock one to false but I want to keep it at uh, true here. So uh, yeah, and I'm just gonna keep them all at true and I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of those slashes. All right, now as you keep going here, you'll see like hide empty sections. I'm gonna put that as false because I, I want it to keep all sections up, not just the, uh, the ones that have stuff in it. So if you want to hide empty sections, if you wanted to keep your SMS section up, even if you don't have any new messages, you'd change it to false. So now for your weather and stuff to do your um to do your stuff to do your to um set your zip code, you go to search at the top, find and search weather, hit find next. The first one it finds is perfect. Okay? And right here you'll see all kinds of stuff. And here it'll say locals. That's where you put in your zip code. Okay? Um, you could set up as many as you want. Just all separated by commas. So like, if I only wanted one, I'd only put one. And let's say I want another one after this. I'd hit enter. Put quotation marks and type in a new one. Like a, I don't know. And then put a comma after it. You just do like that for as many zip codes as you want. I'm going to keep it to these two. And no, neither of these are where I live, so don't try to stalk me. Okay, and now you can do it. You can finish down here if you want it false, or if you want it uh, Fahrenheit or Celsius, right here on line 168, uh, 167, I'm sorry, um, or 187, sorry, dyslexia. Anyway, on one, line 187, you change var is Celsius equals, it'll or, and change it to false if you want uh, Fahrenheit. So uh, basically... That's all the stuff that you should really need to change. Um, so, yeah. Um, after you have all those settings, you can go ahead and uh, close it. It'll ask you if you want to save it. Hit yes. So, basically, now you're all set up. All we need to do now is SSH it onto our phone, which is very easy. You should know how to SSH already, but just in case you don't, uh, I'll go through a short recap. Uh, open up your WinSCP or whatever program you use. Um, I'm gonna make a new one here. Type in your, for host name, it is your IP address. To find your IP address, uh, you go into settings on your phone, Wi-Fi, and select the network you are connected to and it'll show your IP address, okay? So, yeah. Okay, username is root, spelled R-O-O-T, and password alpine spelled a l p i n e okay make sure it's an, a file protocol sftp and hit login i missed anyway
it'll do this, it might ask you if you want to do that, and whatever, just hit yes, and uh, you'll be into your phone. So now what you want to do is go to the slash directory by clicking on the little slash here, or it's just the root directory. Go to library, themes, and into this, this here's your theme folder basically. Have all your winterboard themes installed. On, uh, they'll all be listed here. What you want to do is take those three folders, the grumpled art.theme, grumpled lockinfo.theme, and tbackground.theme, tlockbackground.theme, and take those all and drag them all into that um, theme folder. Okay? It'll say if you want to copy and stuff, just hit copy. Okay? I'm just going to hit uh, use to all because I already have installed, but I'm redoing it here. And just wait for it to copy everything over. Um, it will not take too long once again. It's, they're moderately small files. They're pretty small files, but um, it all depends on your internet connection. Mine is crud. Mine is pure crap. I'm not going to lie. So, uh, yeah. All right, after you have that, you can go ahead and exit out of your WinSCP, um, and it'll ask you if you want to terminate. Hit OK. Now you can go ahead and enable the theme on your phone. So hit Settings. Or however you get to Winterboard, you might have the Winterboard icon on your uh, Springboard, but I have Winterboard Settings. And scroll down to Winterboard, Themes. And you want to enable T-Lock Background, Grumpled Art, and Grumpled Lock Info. Okay? Do not, I repeat, do not enable the regular Lock Info, okay? Now go ahead and hit the Home button and your phone will respring. Mine's about to and I'm gonna lose it on here. So I'm gonna wait for it to finish respringing and uh, then I'm gonna reconnect. So uh, hold on you guys. Uh, I'm gonna stay on. I'm not gonna cut the video here, but um, yeah. It's almost done. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the viewer. Okay. Okay, here we go. Now, it'll look like this for a second when you first have it, and it's going to start adding everything as you go, okay? As you see, uh, now you have your calendar right here. You have your weather for whatever zip codes you put in, whoops, for whatever zip codes you have in. You see Beverly Hills, mm, I'm joking. Okay, you have mail, calendar, missed calls, voicemail, SMS. You'll have everything here on your lock screen, like if you actually had mail and stuff. Which I do, I just need to refresh it probably, or get back to it. it. It'll refresh. Yep, there we go. 147 email. It's better. Okay, so that's basically how you set up the grumpled lock screen. You can go ahead and keep whatever ones you want open. Open, like I usually keep mine with my mail open. So, and, uh, yeah. So, this is uh, Phil from iPodTouchBaller.com. Thank you guys for checking out this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Your feedback is important to me. I'm very sorry for not having a video in a long time. Uh, been very busy. And, uh, yeah. So I'll have the winners of that giveaway announced in a later video. I had them chosen. I went to uh, make sure they were uh, subscribed and everything, and one of them's account was closed. So... I did that earlier today, so, whoops. Um, yeah, so, yeah, guys, this is uh, Phil from MyPotentialBaller.com. Comment, rate, subscribe, and I will see you guys later.